Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Legion Reacts, episode number 22. Now, this evening is, is going to be something very, very different. Um, I'm going to be doing a reaction to Fair Use and NBC Universal's claim of a uh, copyright claim against two videos that I published. And the first one was episode number 17. And the second one is episode number 19. And I'm going to show you both this because I got to be honest, everything, everything that I've, uh, I've looked into says that, um, they violated fair use policy and I'm going to read this here. I don't usually do news, but this is something that's really, um, it really gets my goat. I mean, I'm just, I, it's, it's just not even funny. I'm not a monetized channel. Like I'm not making any money off of this. I put time into this, like going, I transformed the video. I made it my own. I reacted. There's emotion. There's my commentary, my face, like going, I, I hit all the bars like going and I'm going to, I got this email a little while back and, um, I had to delete, I had to, to, to rescind my, um, because I, 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 I disputed the copyright claim. They rejected it flat out. The video was blocked the whole entire time. Nobody could watch it. Nobody could see it. Um, then I then I, I went in for an appeal. They blocked the appeal. They said you have seven days to retract your uh, retract your claim, uh, or you're going to be issued a copyright strike. And that's what it says in this letter right here. It says. Uh, Hi, Legion Games 2076. After reviewing your appeal, NBC Universal, NBC Universal, just so everybody knows, you jerks. You know what? I love Jurassic World, by the way. Y'all a bunch of jerks. Has confirmed that your video contains copyrighted material that hasn't been approved for use in your video. Video title, Legion Reacts, episode number 17, Battle at Big Rock, Jurassic World, 2020-01 of 23, Copyrighted content, Jurassic World, Battle at Big Rep, claimed by NBC Universal. NBC Universal wants to give you an opportunity to cancel your appeal within the next seven days. Canceling your appeal will return your video to the state it was in bef uh, before you began this dispute, which was nothing. There was no state. Like on, it was literally a video on my page that you couldn't watch. It said copyrighted by NBC Universal, as if I just took the original content and just uploaded it like it was mine like oh yeah i made this no my my face my face is in it my voice is in it like i reacted to it i laughed i went oh dude i was like commenting the whole time like i would re-upload the video but they just strike it again there's literally no way to like go i mean i could probably maybe no i couldn't even uh probably watch it and mute it like going because there would still be the, the visuals of it. Like they are so they're lovely people. And um, I'm just saying one of these days I'm going to have a bigger channel and I'm probably going to react to one of your videos just to see what you guys do. And I got to be honest, I'll probably just get a fancy lawyer and take it to court. Like going, I know other YouTubers who have done this and they've won because y'all aren't right. If no action is taken, your video will be taken down from YouTube on February 4th, 2020, and a copyright strike against a low-level YouTuber, a copyright strike will be applied to your account. If you still believe you have the rights to use this material, you can file a counter notification after that date. Why this can happen? The copyright owner disagrees with your dispute, but has given you a chance to keep your video on YouTube. For what? You couldn't even view it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to go to the actual like uploads here. Uh, and this, I'm not, I'm not blaming Team YouTube because uh, I know there are some good people that work at Team YouTube, but this is this is horse crap. The reason you gave for disputing the claim may have been insufficient or invalid. A reaction video is covered by a fair use. And guess what? We're going to be discussing that right now. This is um, just something I've, I, I've found other things, but I like this one the best. This was written by McDonald uh, Bonin, H Hulbert, and uh, Berghoff LLP. Those are l lawyers. I'm not going to get into 
I'm not going to get into, uh, I'm not going to read this whole giant snippet here in the, uh, the, the beginning, but, um, you know, reaction, it says right here, reaction videos, uh, those which depict the emotional responses, facial expressions, comments, or criticisms that content creators direct to a featured video commonly while simultaneously playing the, the featured video are often used to gain this exact result, a reaction. In a video. Reaction video. Fair use factor number one. Purpose and character of the use. The key inquiry in determining the purpose and character of a new work is whether and to what extent the new work is transformative. To qualify as transformative, a work must not merely supersede the objects of the original creation, but rather add something new. A reaction video adds something new. It's adding commentary. It's adding my emotions. Why I love Jurassic Park. Why I love Jurassic World. Uh, okay, where am I at? Uh, yeah, must be. And to further purpose or different character, altering the first with new expression, meaning, or a message. So, in the, the context of a reaction video, simply recounting what is shown in the feature video may weigh against a finding of fair use. I'm not doing that. I didn't do that. I, I literally added new emotions, new reactions, new commentary, like going how much I loved it, what I love about Jurassic World. There was a point to the whole entire thing. It's not like I was like going, see, this is really awesome. Watch. Like going, I'm like, play. I didn't sit here like going, dude. This is really, whoa. Like that I can understand. But literally there was one point I was like, <gasps> I, I mean, that's a reaction. <laughs> like, there was more than just that, but like, seriously, gosh, bless it. I would like literally talk through the whole thing. So, um, uh, conversely, comment or criticism of the feature video may be sufficient to qualify as transformative. For instance, in Equals 3 LLC vs. Juke and Media Inc., the court noted that adding jokes, narration, graphics, or editing weighed in favor of fair use. I think we've made our point on that one. Um, so I'm going to go down to the second one. I mean, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm discussing why, like going, this this falls under fair use. Like going, obviously you guys aren't going to be able to see the video because they just flat out blocked it. Like going, I mean, and it's not even like I had the opportunity for like, when I disputed it the first time, like going for them to release it where people could watch it. It was still technically blocked. They still are like, nope, well, they, you know, you're, you're disputing it, but it's still blocked and nobody's going to be able to watch it. It's not like somebody could be like, eh, bro, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm not really fair use. But then again, if I upload, I do the same thing I do with like a Marvel trailer. Disney and Marvel, they don't give a crap. They're just like, eh, y'all do you. Eh, have a good time. Like going even, <laughs> um, if I remember correctly, Marvel Studios has even actually used some of the reactions from people. Like, uh, I know Tyrone Magnus was one of them. Dude's got a huge YouTube like following, has like, is it like 3 million? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I, I can't remember what, uh, what what it was I read, how many followers he has. Like, oh, but dude literally like on, I think Marvel Studios, if I remember correctly, I saw a video where they used his reaction, part of it, in it. And I'm like, that's awesome. That's good PR. That's 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 showing fans loving your stuff. What's wrong with that? It's nothing wrong with that. Unless you have a giant stick the size of a redwood tree up your butt. Sorry, I'm a little peeved. I've been meaning to make this for a while now. But the deadline to take it down is tomorrow, and I had to do it. And I'm going to be deleting this video after this. Uh, fair use factor number two. Nature of the copyrighted work. This fair use factor examines the content to which the copyrighted work is creative and whether it is unpublished. Most works that are featured in a reaction video will qualify as creative, as even point and shoot style videos have been found to be creative. But while creative, excuse me, boy, that soda didn't agree with me, did it? Um, but while creative works are generally protected by copyright law, this factor carries only slight weight where the new work is transformative. Further, though, copying of a previously unpublished work will generally weigh against the finding of fair use. The feature work in the reaction video will almost always be previously published. Accordingly, this 
factor will warrant only passing consideration by a court as long as the new work is transformative. Yet again, with the word is transformative. It has to be transformative. It has to transform the meaning of it. Literally, everybody who was going to watch that was going to be watching my reaction. And it's not like this video just came out. I mean, for crying, crying out loud, it came up like came out like what? Four or five months ago? I mean, it's not even that new. Most people have seen it. I didn't see it. That's why I was all excited to watch it. I'm like, I had been holding off watching it. And I decided to watch it because I was like, be great for the channel. I love Jurassic World. I love the first Jurassic World. It's great. Second one was was pretty good. It wasn't super. You know, but well, first Jurassic World, like, yo, good stuff. $1.5 billion. Well earned. Uh, fair use factor number three. Amount of substantiality of the portion used. Now, yes, I used the whole entire 10-minute video. I'm not disputing that. Not disputing that. The third fair use factor is a relative de determination that weighs the amount of qu uh, qualitative value of the original work against the defendant's uh, just, uh, justification of, uh, for the use. Reaction videos will often play an original work in its entirety or nearly in its entirety. However, this is not uh, dispos uh, dispositive of the inquiry. I apologize. It's like 1130 at night, guys. You can see the time. Woohoo. Um, so I'm <laughs> slightly tired, uh, of the in court, for instance, in equals three of the court found that the third fair use factor weighed in favor of the defendant, even though the defendant used most or all of the original works at issue and incline and inclined the court found that this factor was neutral since without using actual clips from the original work, the, the commentary and critique here would lose context and utility. So you have to see the video to understand the context of the critique. Um, accordingly, it is unsurprising and apparent that the level of transformativeness in a reaction video continues to determine how much of an original work can be used and still come within the, the purview of, fair, of a fair use defense. So this is where this one, I will admit, gets, gets a little muddy. But at the same time, though, my my reaction to my critique of my um my love for like going you have to you guys have to understand that and see that to understand why i'm reacting to it so like on why i'm reacting the way i am so it um like i said it, it gets a little murky there but at the same time though it says that, that like going you can use either the almost the majority of or all of the copyrighted content all right, fair use factor number four, market harm. This is where the dollars come in. The last fair use factor weighs the commercial impact that an allegedly infringing work has on an original work. In the context of reaction videos, this harm manifests itself in a number of views or lack thereof received by the original work. But while platforms such as YouTube allow anyone to view daily viewership statistics for any given video, merely showing a uh, decrease in views after publication of a reaction video is not enough. N equals three and Klein, for example, the courts determined that bare allegations of market harm failed to establish that the reaction videos in questions impacted viewership of the original works. And such a correlation between uh, the reaction videos and uh, the original works would not necessarily favor the copyright holder. That is, the fourth fair use factor does not, does not uh, simply relate to overall market harm. Rather, the role of the courts is to distinguish between biting, uh, biting criticism that merely suppresses demand and copyright infringement, which usurps it. Market harm, like I said, this has been out for months. Months. And I'm probably... Hmm, we'll save the movie-going community. I was probably in the minority of people who hadn't seen it. Like going, it might even go to justify that my reaction video might actually garner, we'll say probably slight, slight interest in somebody watching it again. Say, oh man, I remember watching that. That was really good. I'll watch it again. And then they go over to NBC Universal and watch it again. I don't know. Like going, I I, I think with the the uh, the small amount of, the, the the small stature of my channel, 
I don't think there's going to be a lot of market harm. I don't have 100,000 subscribers. I don't have 500,000 subscribers. I definitely don't even have anywhere near close a million. I'm not taking away from the market, period. Period. Like going, the fact that this this got so sideways is like, I'm just like, dude, what? So like here we go. This is um this is actually the 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 screen here before I delete this because I'm gonna have to. So this is basically video cannot be seen or monetized. Well, it wouldn't have been monetized in the first place because I you know what I don't have enough followers to be monetized. <laughs> like really, but the video cannot even be seen by anybody because of this section right here. Look how long this video is. It's almost 20 minutes long. So literally the copyrighted work takes up only half of the video. I added an additional 20, uh, 10 minutes of my own commentary during the 10 minutes of the copyrighted work and an additional 10 minutes after the fact of the copyrighted work where it's just me talking about it. I mean, if that's not transformative and falls under fair use creativity, I don't know what does. This, I, I had to, I had to literally, this is where it, it said, you know, uh, cancel your dispute because I had to go in here because it literally said here, like on a uh, copyright strike pending, like going right up here in the corner. It said copyright strike pending uh, on February 4th. So literally I had to like, I had to release that and, um, so yeah, I mean, literally, this is this is the whole entire screen, like going pending. Oh, see, pending removal. They're still they're still gonna delete it. I'm I'm gonna delete it for them, like going because it's crap. Like going, or I'm gonna try. I've never had to delete a video. I, I'm, I'm being serious. Never had to delete a video. Um, let me see if I can go back here. I'm I'm gonna de delete it for everybody's viewing pleasure. Oh yeah, here you go. Here's the SNL one too. Like on, yeah. Well, we're gonna go over that in a minute. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Literally, just uh, January twenty third, twenty twenty. Four whole views, all which were me, because <laughs> uh, I kept checking it after each dispute and stuff like that. So I got like four whole views on the freaking video. And I'm not saying I get a whole lot of views. Like, come on, look at that. Look at that. L L Legion Legion reacts to Miss America. I got forty two whole views. Seven comments. Like on. I'm not really breaking down the walls here, folks. Like, going, I've only been doing this for a couple of months. Like, going, I got a lot of hard work still to do, and I plan to do it. But y'all are just like torpedo on my battleship. So, I'm gonna do it for them. I'm gonna do it for them. Like, going because I, I, I have, um, I have contacted some other bigger YouTubers. I know they get busy. There's a lot of stuff going on in the news with a lot of various things. You know, I'm not, not really. Uh, I'm hoping maybe one of them, one of my favorite YouTubers, he's a, he's a big advocate for sticking up for the smaller guys who, um, who are getting bullied. And I kind of, kind of hoping he's, he's going to help. I'm going to, I'm going to tag him in this video. Um, and I'm going to, you know, you know, tweet him at, at this video and stuff like that. And hopefully it, um, you know, in addition to the email I sent to his, to his channel, he'll, he'll have the opportunity to help me because I just, Unless I'm flat out wrong, which I went over the reasons why I think I transformed that video. I mean, I, I feel like this is just a bully job. And NBC Universal just has a giant stick up the butt. And they're just like going, eh, no, screw all you guys. We don't care. Like going, it's like, yeah, we're going to do whatever we want. We're going to do whatever we want. We don't care. We don't care. Like, like going, but my copyright claim, like going, maybe that might give you a hint on who one of my favorite YouTubers is. Cause he says stuff like that all the time, but seriously, like going, dude, just calm down. Here we go. Yes. I understand that deleting it is permanent. Can't be undone. Well, I would rather delete it, uh, instead of you jerks doing it. Really? This is going to be one of those times where YouTube is going to have a, that's weird. It's not even, does it look like it's highlighted? Whatever. Video successfully deleted. She is gone. Yeah, sixteen. Well, I did those in backwards order because that that you know the that one was sitting for a while. 
So anyway, yeah, let's um, it will we'll go up here to the to the Star Wars uh, basically Kylo Ren one, like on that's flat out still blocked. Like on, I have um, I've thought about disputing it, but like on, I think after this video, like on and um, no, hold on, yeah, learn. Would you like to learn more? No, I don't want. Dang it, it's the wrong thing to hit. You think I'd be used to doing this because I've had a you know a couple of videos, but most people, why can't I view the details? Why are you being a jerk? Excuse me. Thank you. Hey, yeah, here you go. Channel impact not affected. It doesn't affect your channel. Well, nobody's watching the video, so what if somebody were to watch that who would give me another three subscribers? channel so small it'd probably be more like one subscriber but you know what hey we're we're, we're pushing forward <laughs> like my, of course it's ineligible even if it wasn't blocked it wouldn't be eligible like on blocked no one can view this video due to one or more content id claims nbc universal that would be nbc universal you hack television like really nobody watches snl because it sucks this one i give them so a 10 minute video and it's um it's about a section from 340 to 7 to 711. So even this one like go on what? That's it's about 3 minutes. So literally a third of the video, approximately a third of the video is the copyrighted material and they they just they scrub the whole entire thing. And they're like, "Eh, we're going to do that. Screw it. Yeah, screw it." Like I could, I could go to, I could go to appeals and then you get this, uh, you know, you get the black Bart speech. I love this crap. Um, yeah, I don't, blah, blah, blah. Appeals can result in a copyright strike. The claimant can request that your video be removed from YouTube either immediately or within a, uh, with a seven day notice. If they believe their claim is still valid, if this happens, you will receive a copyright strike. If your video is taken down and you still believe it is a mistake, you will have the option to submit a counter notification. Yeah. If I could, if I go to understand and go to uh, continue, I have to literally put in all my personal information. So if NBC universal wants to try to sue me, they know where to find me. That's some, that's some next level screwed up crap. <laughs> it's not like they can say, you know, that's, that's some screwed up crap. Y'all got, um, it get vicious out there on YouTube because these big corporations are like going, yeah, uh, that's a, uh, our money. And I'm like going, dude, what money? There's no money. You see money? Not, not with 42 views on a, on, on, on a video. There's no money. I'm just, I'm just saying, I mean, I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm probably going to, I don't know. I, I'm really going to have to think of whether or not I want to try to appeal this next one. Also, because I've already put one appeal towards them. It's like going, they might, they might just, you know, you know, lay the smack down on me and just give me an immediate copyright strike and say, no, nope, we're tired of dealing with you. We don't want to look at your face. I don't know. It makes me nervous. Like going, because i put a lot of hard work in here, like going thus far, and we're slowly building, like any everybody has to start out and do, and part of me is like going, I should probably just delete it, because it's not worth it, it's not worth it, I don't know, um, I've been going on for almost 24 minutes now, and uh, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of end this video, it's, um, it's anybody's ball game there, folks, but NBC Universal. I'm gonna be honest. Like on, it's highly disappointing. It's 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 highly disappointing that you want to do this to. If my channel was big and I had 500,000 subscribers. I could kind of maybe see the point because I probably I'd be turning a profit off of it. I get nothing. I get nothing out of it but people's views and people's comments. And a pot and the chance to possibly earn another subscriber or two. Like on, and that's going to be the max benefit. It's really disappointing. You did in the in the culture of bullying people. You bullied a, dis a disabled veteran. Congratulations, NBC Universal out there bullying small time YouTubers and disabled veterans from uh from just 
putting their reactions out there, putting their emotions out there, talking about stuff they love, like going. And I love your, I love the Jurassic Park franchise. I love the Jurassic World franchise. So it's disappointing. It's disappointing. Um, if anybody has any other comments, like on, please let me know if um if you feel maybe uh, I was misinformed. Or maybe I have a misinformed opinion. I would love to talk about it. I mean, I'm new to this, but I did the best research I could to figure out um, the best way to, you know, talk about a reaction video and fair use. And I still to this day like going, you know, so I would I would love to hear what you guys think. I hope that um, I hope maybe I can get a, get a response from one of those big YouTube channels that um, that covers news and pop culture and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe they can help me out. Maybe just do a video about it and be like going, Hey man, that's not cool. And let the world know if, if they don't, then, you know, that's, that's cool too. I understand. I, I, I get it. Um, you know, there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. A lot, a lot of, a lot of news, a lot of news with the Super Bowl and, and all sorts of stuff. And just, you know, so I hope you guys have a safe evening and, um, you know, you guys have a phenomenal night. Thank you for watching. If you if you have, love to hear what you guys have to think. Um, if you if if you like the video, if you think this is kind of a travesty, I I am I really am I'm asking you like go and please like the video, uh, comment on the video, share the video with um you know with friends, family, social media, whatever you want to do. I mean, because stuff like this isn't going to stop happening. Like on maybe my case isn't that bad. But like going there, there are worst cases out there. Like going, you're talking about people's livelihoods, like on maybe a video that they might make, I don't know, $2,000 on like going and then NBC Universal just strike it right out there. Like going, you know, and it's like, let's say they're, they're 10 times better at this YouTube thing with, than, than me, like going and they're going to be like going cause they, you know, if they're monetized and you know, have like. 250,000 subscribers like going, you know, that's money in their pocket, like going, and if they followed everything to the letter and they still get struck, like going, which considering two of my videos just flat out, just got slashed, blocked, no views, no nothing like going, nobody can see it. Literally this video right here, zero, well, one view. Cause that's me one view. Cause that's me. It's disappointing folks. Disappointing. I hope you guys have a safe evening. Um, please like and share this if you can. Like Owen and uh, and maybe maybe we can we can reach NBC Universal and, and maybe they can uh, I don't know just pump the brakes, yo. Just pump the brakes. It's not that serious, guys. It's not that serious. So y'all be safe. You have a phenomenal evening, and uh, we'll definitely see you next time.